Alright guys, welcome to the afternoon stretch. Okay, I am Kenneth today. So we're going to take you through okay, our body weight high intensity exercises today. So again today, okay, we have three segments. Okay, so I will take you through segment one. Okay, Yao Xiang will come in a little bit later to take you through segment number two. Okay, and then I will take over again on the last segment, segment three, to take you guys through the finisher, the last round. Okay, so today, okay, for our first segment, okay, we're going to do okay, a little bit Okay, of core, okay, we're going to do a little bit, okay, high, high intensity as well, okay, as uh, mainly core exercises, okay, a little bit shorter on the workouts, okay, and a little bit of rest. I'm going to proceed through six different exercises and two rounds, okay, so what I'll do is we do a warm up, okay, and then we'll go into our exercises, okay, so, okay, we're going to start off, okay, with our warm up for today, okay, so three different warm ups today, you can just follow along with me, okay, we're going to go into a lunge, into a twist, okay, that's going to warm up, okay, your legs, Okay, your core as well. So as you go down into a lunge, okay, you're gonna twist to the side, come back up, okay, as you go down again, okay, make sure twist left to right. Okay, so we're gonna take you through this warm-up, okay, just hands up, okay, you're gonna come down and twist, okay, stand all the way up, okay, hands up again as you come down, okay, make sure rotate, make sure fully rotate, okay, your torso as you come all the way to the side, step back up. Okay, we're gonna do 10 reps of these, okay, hands all the way up, okay, hands down, twist and rotate. Okay, nice and easy. Make sure, okay, as you come up, hands up again, stretch out those shoulders. As you come down, step back down. Okay, hands down. Okay, twist and rotate. Make sure legs, again, okay, as low as possible. Okay, as you step up. Okay, do not touch the ground as you come down. Okay, make sure you come down, twist and rotate again. Okay, so give me, okay, last two reps as you come down. Okay, twist and rotate. Nice and easy. Okay, step back up. Hands all the way up. Make sure open up those shoulders as well. Okay, you're going to step back down. Okay, twist. And rotate. Okay, just give me last two reps again. So step back down. Okay, hands down. Twist, rotate. Okay, step back up. Okay, last one. Okay, you're gonna step down. Okay, all the way twist, all the way up. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so we're gonna go down into a squat, uh, squat to hip openers. Okay, so you go down into a squat. Okay, you're gonna have our hands down. Then you're gonna twist left to right. Okay, open up those hips as well. Okay, all the way back up. Okay, so come down. If you can go a little bit lower, that's good. And you open up. Okay, your hips left to right. Make sure to straighten out those arms as well to feel your hips, okay, your, uh, your legs opening up as well. All the way back down. Okay, stretch out the adductors, twist and rotate. Make sure you feel that stretch as you go left to right. All the way back up. Okay, squat down again. Okay, twist left to right. Press as far out as you can and twist that torso. Okay, all the way up. Okay, let's go all the way straight down again. Okay, twist and rotate, nice. Okay, feel that nice stretch as you go. Okay, so last one, we're gonna go through jumping jack, simple enough. Okay, just go hands all the way up. Okay, legs out wide. Okay, make sure you stay on your toes as you go for those jumping jacks. You feel your heart rate going slightly up. Okay, as we go for those warm ups. Okay, so keep going with me. Okay, we're gonna go and hit last five seconds here in four, in three, two, and one, all right, so your heart rate's up now. Okay, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna go through with you the six different exercises, okay, that we're gonna go through today. Okay, 35 seconds to work, 25 seconds to rest. Take a little breather, okay, I'll go run through the six workouts. So we're gonna go for first one, mountain climbers, okay, into plank jacks, okay, so mountain climbers, okay, shoulders above your hands. We're gonna one, hit four mountain climbers, one, two, three, and four, okay, legs at the back. We're gonna hit your plank jacks, come back in to your four, mountain climbers into your plank jacks. Okay, so that's exercise number one. Okay, exercise number two, you're going for your inchworms into your cross climbers. Okay, so down for an inchworm. Okay, make sure all the way down into your push-up position. Okay, cross climbers left to right. You're gonna stand all the way back up. Okay, and then go back down and go for your cross climbers again. Okay, so exercise number three, down in your push-up position again, okay. So you're going to hit that push-up, okay, all the way down. Okay, you're going to twist and rotate into your T push-ups. Back down, okay, rotate to the other side, into your T push-ups. If you can't do that, you go down on your knees, all the way down, push all the way up. You're going to rotate all the way up. Okay, make sure you rotate in the entire torso, reach as far up as you can. Okay, so exercise number four, okay, you're going for a single leg uh, oblique crunch. Okay, so this one, we're all the way down on the ground. Okay, 
gonna go into a, a bicycle crunch, but just working one side. Okay, so elbows to knees. Okay, just work one side. So as we go into our second set, second round, okay, you're gonna switch to the other side and do the same thing. All right, so next one, okay, into your plank. Hip dips, okay, so as you go side to side in your planks, okay, you're gonna dip your hips side to side. Okay, work that core, work that obliques as you shift from left to right. Make sure you twist the torso entirely. Okay, don't just drop the hips, okay? So last one, okay, we're going for a tuck crunch. So down on the ground, on your back, okay, we're going down to the side. Okay, just tuck the knees in and all the way out. Okay, so tuck the knees all the way in and out. All right, so those are your six uh, exercises. Okay, we're gonna do 35 seconds of work. Okay, 25 seconds of rest, two rounds. Okay, so two rounds of those and we're done for segment number one. Okay, so we're gonna start in about 10 seconds. Okay, follow along, do with me at your own pace. Okay, and we are gonna go. Okay, so five seconds left. Get ready, okay, down in your mountain climbers. Okay, plank jacks, okay, let's go. Okay, so mountain climbers, you're gonna hit four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, into your plank jacks. Okay, so knees all the way in four times. Okay, into your plank jacks. Okay, so keep going. Okay, make sure, don't drop the hips too much. Okay, you should feel yourself crunching all the way in. Knees all the way into your chest. Okay, legs out wide. Okay, four times, keep going. Three, four, okay, out into your plank jacks. Again, keep going. Two, three, four, legs out into your, your plank jacks. So one, two, three, four, legs out, plank jacks. All right, good job, guys. Okay, so you have a 25 second rest in between exercises. Okay, second one, we're going to our inchworms, okay, into your oblique climbers. So as you go down into your oblique climbers, okay, make sure. Rotate to the side, you can have your knees all the way into your elbows, okay, and then stand all the way back up. Okay, so five more seconds of rest. We're gonna get ready in three, two, and one. Let's go. Okay, sit down into your inchworms, okay, all the way forward, okay, crunch all the way to the side, left to right, and come all the way back up. Okay, so stand up straight, all the way back down. Okay, so knees in. You can. You can always go a little bit faster, push yourself a little bit more, okay? Otherwise, you okay, can go at your own pace, doesn't matter. Okay, left to right, stand all the way back up. Okay, we've got about five more seconds. Let's hit that last one. Knees all the way into your elbows, and step all the way back up. All right, okay, good. Good job, guys. Okay, so next, we're gonna hit our push-ups here. So T push-ups, get okay, down into your push-ups. You're gonna twist and rotate all the way up. So make sure you do your push-ups. Okay, either okay, up your knees or you can go down on your knees and hit that push up. All right, so make sure, okay, do not hinge too much. Okay, go down in one single plane as you go all the way down, okay? So get ready, let's go. Okay, so push up, as those you can, you're gonna twist and rotate, feel that stretch in your chest. You come back down, hit that push up, twist and rotate on the other side. Okay, so keep going. Okay, remember guys, hit this at your own pace, okay? Feel the nice stretch as well as you open up the chest. Okay, switch sides. Nice, good. Okay, down to that push up. Last 10 seconds, come on. Give me a couple more reps. All the way down to that push up. Twist and rotate. Okay, last one, let's go. All the way up, twist, rotate, open up that chest. Okay, so rest, 25 seconds to work. Okay, we are going into our single side oblique crunch. Okay, so down on the floor. Okay, remember, okay, as you go all the way up, okay, just crunch in one side. Okay, we're gonna just work one side of the body on the second set. We're gonna switch through the other side. So in three, in two, and one, let's go. So legs all the way out, crunch all the way in. Good, all the way in. Okay, make sure elbows touch the knee, in case you crunch all the way in, okay. This is good, all right? Okay, so if you can't, you can always bend the knees a little bit more. The regression is just to have your knees in, okay, and crunch in this way. If you can, challenge yourself a little bit. Have your legs out, okay, crunch. Elbows touching the knee, all the way in, okay. So regression, again, is this, bend knees in. Okay, just elbow touching your knees, okay. In three, two, and one. There you go, okay, so rest up. Okay, we're going into our fifth exercise, our plank hip dips. So make sure as you go down, again, rotate those hips down into your elbows. Okay, we're gonna switch, uh, we're gonna swivel from side 
to side, so make sure as you move, okay, you're going to dip those hips. Okay, really rotate your hips as you go left to right. Okay, so let's go. 35 seconds. Okay, again, at your own pace. Okay, on your toes, you're going to just dip all the way down. Okay, really, really crunch. Okay, and rotate those hips as you dip from side to side. Okay, nice. Keep going. If you can, okay, hips as low as you can. Really feel the core engaging. Squeeze your glutes as well. Okay, as you shift from side to side. Okay, it's a really good core workout on this one. Okay, you got five more seconds. Dip those hips in three, two, and one. All right, nice. Okay, we're gonna work a little bit more on the core. Okay, so last, okay, of the first round. Okay, we're going into our tuck crunch. So down on the, the floor. Okay, you're just gonna go all the way out. Okay, knees bring it all the way in. You can touch your ankles as well. It legs all the way out. All right, okay, so five more seconds of rest. Okay, regression, if you can't keep your legs straight, you can just go into your crunches with the legs in. All right, guys, so let's go. Okay, tap, okay, tap your ankles as you come in and out. Okay, tap, remember the regression. Okay, just all the way down. Tap your ankles. Okay, knees, okay, do not bring it out. Okay, knees bend at all times. Otherwise, okay, legs all the way out. Okay, bring it in. Okay, tap, okay, your ankles as you crunch all the way in. Okay, so make sure as you come all the way in, okay, your shoulders, okay, comes off the ground. Okay, so off, you can see how my shoulders are off. Okay, you can come all the way out, bring it all the way in. All right, guys, so good. So rest up, 25 seconds. Okay, we are going into our second round. Okay, so remember, mountain climbers into plank jacks. Okay, so rest a little bit more, about 10 more seconds. Okay, mountain climbers, remember. Okay, shoulders right above your hands, you're gonna go for four. Mountain climbers, legs out. Okay, plank jack. All right, so that's our first exercise of the second round. All right, so let's go. 35 seconds. Okay, knees in. One, two, three, and four. Okay, into your plank jacks. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, plank jacks. Okay, so keep going. Okay, again, at your own pace. So your plank jacks. Okay, legs are wide. Three, four. Okay, jump out wide to feel your core working, your arms working. Okay, legs all the way in. Okay, out wide. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, into that plank jack. Okay, give me last rep. Bring for another three seconds. Out and in. And there you go. Okay, 25 seconds of rest. Okay, into our inchworm. Okay, and cross climbers. So remember, cross climbers, okay, have your knees touch your elbows as you go for those twists. Okay, so as you go all the way down again, try to keep your legs straight. Okay, you should feel a nice hamstring stretch as you go all the way down and inch forward. Okay, so get ready in three, two, and one. Let's go. Okay, so all the way forward. Okay, we're gonna have left to right and come all the way back in. Okay, stand all the way up. Okay, down for another inchworm. Okay, left to right, knees to elbows. All the way up. Okay, so nice. Again, at your own pace. You're gonna go all the way down. Push up position. Knees into each, into your elbows. All the way up. Okay, you go five more seconds. All the way down. Let's hit that cross oblique and up. All right, so good. Okay, so we're going for 25 seconds of rest. Okay, and then we're going for our T push up. So again, down to your push up. Okay, we're gonna rotate all the way up. Open up the chest. Okay, down for the push up, twist, and rotate. Okay, so about five more seconds of rest. Okay, take a little breather. Okay, have some water if you need. Okay, we're going in three, two, and one. Let's go. So push ups. Okay, you're gonna twist, rotate, open up the chest. Okay, you for that push up. And again, twist and rotate on the other side. Okay, keep going all the way, chest down to ground. Twist and rotate. Okay, nice. Okay, at your own pace. Twist and rotate. Okay, again, if you can't do a normal push up, okay, down to your knees. Push up all the way up. And okay, you're gonna twist and rotate with your knees up. Okay, so again, knees down on the ground, all the way up, twist and rotate. Nice, okay? So going on to our next one. Okay, we got our, our single uh, leg crunches, uh, crunches. Okay, so as you come in, Okay, down on the ground. Okay, we're gonna switch sides this time. 
So we're going on to the left, the straight, push all the way up. Okay, so remember a regression, knees in, twist and rotate. All right, so in three, two, let's go. Okay, so legs out, twist and rotate in. Okay, you should feel the crunch. Okay, your oblique working as well. Okay, if you can't, again, knees all the way in. Okay, all the way down, make sure shoulders lifted off the ground as you crunch in. Okay, in and out. Okay, so otherwise, legs both out, you're gonna crunch all the way in. Okay, nice and easy, last 10 seconds. Okay, you can keep going. Knees all the way in, elbows to knees. Okay, good. In three, in two, and one. Okay, so last two exercises of this round. Okay, we're going for plank hip dips. Okay, so remember in your plank position, okay, we're going to sway side to side. Make sure you rotate those hips. Okay, drop it down low. Okay, as you go left to right or right to left. Okay, 10 more seconds of rest, guys. Okay, so get ready, get into position. Okay, into your plank position. Okay, make sure shoulders above your elbows. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're going to dip those hips, left to right. Okay, it looks easy on this exercise, but you can really feel that core working. Okay, as you go down low on those hips, make sure really rotate side to side. Push through. Okay, feel that core working. Okay, last 10 seconds. Okay, keep going all the way. Okay, we're almost there on segment one. All right, nice. Okay, in three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, last exercise. Okay, last 35 seconds of segment one. Top crunches. Okay, so remember, have the legs straight, or you can bring your knees all the way in. Okay, you're going to tuck all the way in, touch your ankles all the way up, or, okay, knees bend and touch your ankles. All right, so five more seconds. Okay, before we start our final exercise in three, two, and one. All right, let's go. Let's touch those ankles all the way out. Okay, shoulders off the ground. And push through all the way in. Feel that core working all the way in. Okay, again, if you can, a regression. Okay, just knees all the way in. Tap your ankles. Okay, you should feel your core still working in this one. Okay, it's firing up as you go up and down. Okay, knees. Okay, last 10 seconds. Okay, tap those ankles all the way out. Okay, all the way in. Okay, guys, keep going. Last one. Let's push through. And there you go. All right. Okay, good job. Okay, well done on segment number one. Okay, Yao Xiang is going to come in. Okay, he's going to take you through segment number two of his workout. Okay, hope you guys had a good uh, workout on this segment. Okay, I'll come back on segment three and lead you guys through the final bit. Thank you. And welcome back to the afternoon stretch. I'm Yao Xiang. I'm going to take you through <clears throat> the second segment for today. So my segment will be also targeting a lot of the core, right? So, but the work set will be a slightly different from Kenner. So mine will be slightly shorter uh, duration of work, but at the same time, the rest will be shorter as well with seven exercises. So um, the, uh, the exercises might be the same, but the work rate will be different, so the challenge might be different, so please try it out. Several exercises, I'm going to show you a quick demo. So the first one will be getting down on the floor, the first two in fact. 
right? It's called a snowball hole. So a snowball, like you know, it's round, right? So all you need to do, put your hands behind your head, right? And what you want to do is to aim to touch your elbows and your knees together, holding that nice crunch. If you can't, it's okay. Aim to bring the elbows and knees as close as you can and hold in that position. And if you can, try to imagine that you're actually pushing against your knees and your elbows tighten. You're going to feel your midsection working. The next one we'll be doing is bicycle crunches, similar to what we did. But instead of doing only one side, we'll be doing and twisting both sides. Get your knees up, legs straight, hands behind your head. Same thing, right knee, left elbow. You're going to keep switching and really have that twist in the midsection. And of course, as you can tell, my shoulders are always off the floor. You don't come down and come back up, right? Just keep it tight. So that means for the 25 seconds, your core is always engage and the next one we're going to do a little bit of punches right so punches you're going to do bend your knees you're going to have a stable um ground right bend knees hips tight what you're going to do is be punching the floor 10 times as fast as you can imagine that somebody on the floor or whatever it is punch as fast as you can and stand up and punch again right always holding that nice strong stance that we have over here you realize that you're going to feel breathless because your rib cage will be always engaged in that tight boxing position next one you're going to lunge and twist Right, so you're going to do a forward lunge and you'll always twist towards the side that your front leg is. You're going to do a twist and then you're going to push yourself back up, going down. Same thing, nice and strong. Twist and come back up. One thing to look forward, I mean to look at is my upper body is not leaning forward, it's always upright. Do a nice twist, stand, you're going to feel your hips burning. The next one, you're going to do some arms down on the floor again, child's pose into a push up. Right, so this child pose, what you're going to do, you're going to start with the push-up position first. You're going to really push your bum backwards towards your heel as much as you can. Right From there, push yourself forward back into a push-up position. One push-up. Then you can push yourself backwards into your heels, coming back forward again. Right. The next one, stay down on the floor. You'll be doing plank spiders. So you can do it either with your arms straight or on your elbows. Right. So elbows, personally for me, is a bit tougher. You can be on your elbow, shoulder directly, uh, directly above your elbows. You're going to bring your knee towards your elbow. As much as you can, try to bring the gap between the knees and elbows closer. And the last one, you're going to get a hurry up. It's this very simple high knees where you drive your knees upwards, stepping down into the ground, right? Okay, so there were seven exercises. Each exercise, you're going to do 25 seconds. You're going to rest a very short 10 seconds. And then from there, we're going to repeat three times, okay? So we're going to start in 10 seconds. The first one, just go down the floor, really relax, okay? Knees tucked in, right, hands behind your head, and we're gonna just bring in elbows and knees, touching and holding that very nice, tight ball position. Okay, so as you can tell, my shoulders are off the floor. Breathe. If you're really tired, just open up a little bit, have a big breath, and squeeze, right? We're gonna end in five, four, Three, two, one. And we're going to rest. Same thing, we're doing the bicycle crunches. So same thing, down on the floor, leg straight. Always pull your knees in and out at all times. Right? You're going to go tap, tap. And once you find the rhythm, you can go slightly faster, but remember to kick your leg out, pull it back in, alternate like you're really riding a bicycle. Right? You've got 10 more seconds to go. The five. Remember, nice form, good range in your movements. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Next one, punches. Right. So when you're punching something, don't think about so much about your forearm or your wrist or your fist. Think about elbows pulling down and pulling back up. Right. So you're throwing your arms down, pulling out. Right. Imagine you're punching into a uh, what call it? Maybe a bag of sand. You want to pull it out. It's stuck. You want to pull it out ten times. Stand forward. Same thing. Really have a good range, push out, pull it back, push it back. Every time 10, you're going to move. The faster you go, the faster your heart rate will go up. So challenge yourself as fast as you can and we will rest. Next one, lunge. You're going to go forward. Remember to lunge forward as far as you can, making sure your front knee is always at a 90 degree. Twist and come back up, right? So go forward, twist, stabilize yourself. Not too fast, twist, 
the further you go forward, your hips and your knees and ankle stabilizing muscles are actually working. So go forward, twist. Don't lean forward as you go. So you go forward and drop your back knee down in, instead of going forward twice. Right, you're gonna rest. Next one, you're gonna go down on the floor, child's pose into a push up. Okay, let's go down the floor. And we're gonna push our palms into the ground, pushing ourselves back, our butt touching our heels, coming forward, downwards. Pushing ourselves backwards again. You've got to feel a squeeze in your shoulders. And come back down. Right? Press into your palm, really pushing yourself away into your heel. Down. Five seconds. Let's finish our last one. Up. And down. Excellent. Next one, you're going to be on our elbows. Or some of us want to do, you can be on your palms. Right? You're going to do spider. I'm going to show you the high plank version. So same thing, shoulders directly above your palms. We'll bring it in. Bring it in. I can advise you, you can twist your hips a little bit just to get the maximum range and the crunch in your obliques. But try not to let your hips drop or even worse, point your hips up, right? So it's nice, firm hold. And then from there, touch. touch. You've got five seconds more. Two, one, and last one, we're going to be standing up. We'll be doing some high knee runs. If you're really tired, just jog on the spot. Right, we're going to start in three, two, one. We're going to keep moving, right? So don't always think about lifting your knees, but think about stepping down really hard. Step, step down, right? Downwards, right? So you're going to keep moving. And of course, the faster your arm moves, the faster your legs will be moving as well. The last 10 seconds before we have a break, or 40 seconds. So we really go as high as you can before we rest. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. See, as you can tell, my heart rate is going up. I'm panting, right? So you should be feeling the same thing as well. But if you're not, it's okay. You have two more chances to really push yourself as hard as you can. Remember, drink up just a little bit, enough to hydrate yourself, right? To quench the thirst without getting yourself too bloated, right? So we're going to be doing the second set. We'll be doing down the floor, cannonball hole, right? For some of us, why they're, pulling, uh, why they're used to the hole is because some of us might be um, breathless now, right? You should be panting, you're trying to breathe and I'm forcing you to hold a crunch so that it makes it even difficult, right? So we're gonna go down the floor. Three, two, one, and squeeze, right? So this is a static hold. There's nothing much you can do, right? Just try to make sure the gap between your elbow and your knee doesn't exist. If you can't, you have a problem, don't worry. Squeeze as close and have discipline to keep it close as much as you can, but remember to breathe through your nose and down. Next one we'll be doing is the bicycle crunches. Remember, right, your legs have to be out straight and switch, switch, right? Keep switching, right? You're gonna put your hands behind your head again. Ready, and let's go. Tap, tap, tap. For those people with a problem, tapping elbows and knees, let's do a slow squeeze, right? The closer your elbows and your knees are, the more squeeze, the more crunch you will get in your core, right? That's what you want. Five more seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're going to be doing the punches again. So remember, when we're from the side version, right? Remember, elbows pull back, pushing out as far as you can. In three, two, one, let's go. Firm stance, stay grounded, punch as fast as you can, and go forward. Of course, you, you bend in that you're really um, angry, you want to go as fast as you can and stand up and punch. The more you pull, you realize the more you're engaging your core like a boxer. All right? Five more seconds. Then down, three, two, one, and rest. We're going to go to our legs, okay? So instead of going forward, for those people who want to try, you can do a reverse lunge. So same thing, backwards and twist, coming back up backwards and twist, right? We're going forward again, right? Go forward, come back up. So I forgot the twist. Go forward, twist, and come back. Twist as you recoil, stand back up if you want, for good timing and more app workout. Go, go twist, push yourself back forward, back, and last one. Right, next one, you go down the floor. Last three exercises, upper body. You're gonna do a push-up into a child's pose. In three, two, one, 
legs up, really have discipline, really push yourself back as much as you can. Imagine you're sitting down on your heels, look down, come back up, one push up. Right, some of us might feel a bit of strain on the legs, on the side over here, and our hips, right? It's fine, just go as much as you can because there's a lot of mobility work that we involve. Two, one, and rest. The next one will be doing a high plank or a low plank, up to you. Elbows, always try to imagine reaching for your, so your knees reaching for your elbows, right? So I'll be doing high plank, same thing, hips low, torso and legs straight, bring your knees to your elbows, knees to elbow. Again, a slight twist is okay in order to target your obliques, right, which is the side of your abs. Down for 10 more seconds, and we'll move on to the last one. Five seconds, tap, bring it back down. Realize my hips doesn't go up, doesn't come down as we're doing it. And rest. We're down to our final one, high knees, right? So remember, drive your arms as fast as you can, elbows forward and backward, lifting your legs up, but focusing on the downward, right? Of course, imagine that you're stepping down hard, that it disturbs your neighbor, right? Down, you're gonna focus on downwards. Don't think about lifting your knees up, down. Step down, swing your arms as fast as you can for the last 10 seconds. Really get the heart rate out. Right, for five seconds, we're gonna go hard. Follow me, two. One, last five seconds, we're gonna go fast. Just keeping your body upright, two, one, and rest. All right, we're down to our last seven exercises. Right, let's push hard before Kenner returns back for the last segment. Right, so 30 seconds, walk about, try not to sit down, right, try to be active, walk about, shake it off, focus, if you're really tired, just pace yourself, breathe, and get that heart rate down low, so that you can finish strong in the last segment, okay? So we're going to be going down the floor, same thing, snowball, hold, you really want to have that crunch, right? We're going to start in about 5 seconds, let's lie down, 5 seconds, remember, knees, elbows, trying to close the gap between the both of them. Ready, and let's go. So remember, tight squeeze. Tuck your chin in if you want to get a crunch, right? You've got 10 more seconds to go. Remember, if you can't, if you have a gap, just try to squeeze and be disciplined to hold that squeeze as much as you can. Three, two, one, and take a break. Right, next one, bicycle crunches. Remember, legs out all the way, pulling them in, out and in, right? Ready, 25 seconds and let's go. In, pulling them out. Really point your toes and kicking it back where they came from, push it back. Once you find the rhythm, you can go slightly faster. 10 more seconds to go. Nice crunch. Remember to breathe, the shoulders off the floor. Five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. We're gonna come back up on the floor. We're doing lunges. Remember, you can go either forward lunge or reverse, right? Two, one, I'm gonna opt for the forward lunge. We'll go forward, do a twist, stand up. Go forward, do a twist, and stand up, right? Nice one. All right, so if you're really sweating out like me, which means we have a good workout, you're doing well, but of course, if you can, again, push yourself harder without injuring yourself, of course. Let's do the last one. Forward, twist, and stand up. Next one we'll be doing is punches, okay? Third exercise, we'll be doing punches. Really go hard. Imagine letting out all your anger. Ready, and let's go. So go as fast as you can. Remember, don't round your back. Be in a strong position. Ten punches down, ten punches forward, right? Pulling your foot, arms Elbows forward, as long as you can, right? Try not to move in circular motion. Long actions, 10 forward and 10 downwards. The next one, we'll be going down on the floor, doing our upper body, for the rest, right? Into our trial pose, into our push-up. Right, ready? In five seconds, let's get down to the floor. Three, two, one, right? One push-up, pushing your hips back. Really push into the floor. Like, imagine you're shrugging your shoulders. Right, push yourself backwards, bring your shoulders close to your head, your ears, coming back in with a nice tuck at the back. Again, tuck your bum towards your heels, chin in, coming back forward. Let's do the last one. And rest. 
Right, we're down to our last two. So we're going to do a spider. Again, high plank. If you want, knees to elbow, knees to elbow. Let's go. Right, keeping the core nice and tight before we even start. And from there, twist, elbows. Imagine bring your knees from the side. You're going to go around, tapping your elbows. Lift them up and go around. 10 more seconds before we move on to the high knees. Right, five more seconds. Hang in there. Don't let your hips drop. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, one. And we are down to our final 25 seconds before we return back to Canada. Who do you want to push and motivate yourself? Really go as hard in three, two, one. Same thing, elbows drive. The faster you swing your elbows, the faster your legs will have to follow. Just try it. Focus on your elbow swing, not your legs moving. Right, if you're tired, it's just jog. And of course, those of you who want to challenge yourself for the last 10 seconds, let's go. High knees, gonna lift your legs as high as possible. Step focusing still on the downwards. You go five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, so that's all for me. Three sets of seven exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I hope that you really get your heart rate up and then have a good rest. Quickly, in two minutes, we'll be back. One to two minutes, we'll be back with Kenneth to finish off his last segment. Alright guys, okay, welcome back to the last segment. Okay, so I'm Kenneth again. Okay, so we're gonna bring you through okay, your final exercise for today. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, a little bit more endurance stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go for 40 seconds of work, okay, 20 seconds of rest, just a little bit longer, okay, on the work time. Okay, five different exercises. We're gonna cycle through twice on these exercises. Once we're done, just go for a little cool down, okay, and that's it for today. Okay, so okay, so first exercise. Okay, we're going to work a lot more on the legs. Okay, so we're going to bring you through five exercises. We're going to work a lot more on your lower body as well. Okay, so exercise number one. Okay, we're going through to our uh, pulse squat uh, to jumps. Okay, so as you go down into a squat, okay, go as low as you can. Keep that chest out, the back straight. You're going to just pulse all the way up and down. Okay, once you're done, okay, with five pulses, you're going to make the jump at the end. If you can't jump, okay, just go for five pulses, two, three, four, and five. Okay, just going to stand back up. Okay, back down to a pulse. Okay, so you're going to work okay your quads okay your lower body on that one okay as you stand up okay squeeze your glutes at the top as well okay so exercise number two okay you're going for a squat jack to lunge okay so you go for the squat jacks you're going down your squat into a jack okay into a lunge okay so you come out again okay legs out wide come back in into a lunge so every time you step back in you're going straight into a lunge okay so if okay you can't do that jump okay just go into a squat and step in the middle okay just straight back into a lunge okay step back out Okay, into the middle, okay, back into a lunge. Okay, so that's a regression, no jumps on that one. Okay, so exercise number three, okay, more on the legs. Okay, we're going for a Cossack squat on this one. So you're basically going side to side, working unilateral work all the way down low, as low as you can. You're going to push all the way back up. Okay, come back down and push. So you should feel your quad, quads working as you push yourself all the way up. Okay, if you can't go to, uh, as low as I can, don't worry about it. Just go as low as you can, push all the way up. Okay, work on that unilateral strength of your legs okay down low and up so again do not lean too far forward keep your chest out your back straight okay, as you go down and up okay so station number four okay just ski jumps 
So make sure as you jump, okay, we're going to swing those hands just like a skier. You're going side to side on this one. So as you jump, okay, just go side to side, okay, and land. Make sure as you land, land down soft. Okay, bend the knees slightly. Okay, all the way up and down. Okay, so make sure you do not just go left to right fast this way. I want you guys to swing the arms. Okay, and then as soft as you can. Okay, on the ground. So last exercise. Okay, we're going for tiptoe. Okay, glute bridges. Okay, so glute bridge, simple, down on the ground. Okay, your hands out wide, okay, on by the side. You're gonna push yourself all the way up. As your all as your, your hips are pushed all the way up, you're gonna try to tiptoe, okay, back down, okay, come all the way down. So another example, push all the way up, okay, on your toes, back down, all the way down. So if you can't go on your toes, it's simple, okay, just push all the way up, okay, on your glute bridges, okay, just all the way up and down. Okay, so progression would be Going on your toes, regression, just into a, a normal, okay, include bridge, push your hip as high as you can. So those are your five exercises. And we're going to cycle through twice, okay, 40 seconds to work, okay, 20 seconds of rest on each exercise, okay? So, okay, we've got about 10 seconds till we start, okay, so just warm up a little bit. Okay, I'm sure you guys are already sweating, perspiring from the first two segments. Okay, so get ready. First one, remember, squat pulses to jumps. Okay, let's go. So down, okay, you're going to pulse for five times, two, three, four, and five. Okay, make that jump straight back down into your pulses, three, four, and five. Okay, make that jump straight back down into a pulse. Okay, so if you can't jump again, remember guys, okay, you're just gonna stand back up, okay, back down into your pulse, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can go jump or into a normal squat. Okay, two, three, four, five. Okay, at your own pace. Okay, you're gonna work those legs, can you feel your quads burning? Four, five, all the way up, back down, one, two, three, four, and five, up into a squat. All right, good. Okay, so about 20 seconds of rest. Okay, you're going more legs, squat jacks, two lunges. Okay, so 10 seconds more. Okay, shake it off, can always okay, stretch your quads out. Okay, pull all the way back to feel that nice stretch. Okay, so five more seconds. Okay, we're gonna go into our squat jacks to lunges, so make sure you come up, okay, into, okay, all the way out, you're gonna jump in, okay, legs out. So legs in, out, legs in, okay, into your lunge, okay, if you can't do that, okay, remember, here, step in, okay, into your lunge, legs out, change again, come back in. Okay, a little bit of coordination on this one, okay, just try to get the hang of it, all the way out. So if you wanna jump, all the way in, okay, legs out wide, just squat, legs in, Okay, down to lunge. Okay, as low as you can, and go. Okay, five more seconds, keep going guys. All the way in, last rep, all the way down, and up. All right, good. Okay, so that's two down. Okay, got three more to go for this round. Okay, Cossack squat. Okay, we're going side to side. Okay, so remember, as low as you can, push all the way up. Legs still out wide. Okay, as low as you can, push all the way out wide. Okay, so in three, two, and one, let's go. So as low as you can, okay, feel that stretch as well, okay, all the way up. Okay, so you go as low as you can. Okay, make sure you point the toes up as well. And you're gonna come all the way back in. As low as you can, keep that back straight, push all the way back up. Okay, nice and low, push all the way back up. Okay, so nice and slow on this exercise. You'll still feel your quads burning. Okay, nice and slow, push all the way up. Okay, nice. So again, if you can't go as low, it's all right. Okay, as low as you can, push all the way up. Okay, switch sides. As low as you can, again, push all the way up. Otherwise, all the way down low, push up. All right, okay, good job. Okay, so rest up. Okay, I'm going for ski, to, ski jumps next, so we're going laterally from side to side. Okay, make sure as you jump, swing those arms as well. Okay, very much like a skier. Okay, so okay, five more seconds. Okay, stay on your toes as you land. Land as soft as you can, all right? So let's go. Okay, let's go. So jump, just side to side. Make sure down, okay, as soft as you can. Okay, land on your toes. Just go from side to side. Make sure swing those arms as well. Okay, nice recovery on this one. Okay, feet together as you jump. Okay, try to land as soft as you can. Side to side, nice. There you go. Okay, keep going all the way. Okay, you got about 10 more seconds to go. Okay, if you can, jump a little bit further. Okay, doesn't matter how far you jump. Okay, as long 
as you jump side to side, land as soft as you can, swing those arms well, last one, let's go, and we're all done, okay, so last exercise of this round, okay, we're going for glute bridges, or if you want a progression, go on your toes, okay, so 10 more seconds of rest, okay, you're going down on your bum, you're going to push through those hips, squeeze your glutes at the top, okay, and go on your toes, otherwise, just, okay, just push all the way up, so all the way up, Push on your toes, gonna to work those calves as well. Okay, back down, okay, hips all the way down. So push as high as you can on your toes. Okay, land back down, okay, hips drop it down. Okay, so push on your toes, down to your heels, okay, hips drop all the way down. Okay, so nice. Okay, push all the way up. So feel your calves working. Okay, back down, okay, hips drop it all the way down on the ground. So all the way up, squeeze. Okay, at the top, squeeze there for about two seconds. One, two, drop back down. Okay, in, okay, all the way up. Okay, last one, down your heels, and push all the way down. Well done, guys, okay, good. Okay, that's one round done. We've got another round of this, and we are done for the day. Okay, so 10 more seconds to rest. Remember, we're going into a squat pulses, into a jump, okay, or into a normal squat all the way up. Okay, so in three, in two, and one, okay, as low as you can, okay, one, two, three, four, five, into a jump, okay, one, two, three, four, five, okay, into a jump, good, one, two, three, four, five, into a normal squat or a jump, okay, remember, one, two, three, four, five, okay, normal squat, okay, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. Okay, again, those of you who want to test yourself, want to push yourself a little bit more, can always go into a jump. So all the way up. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. All right, good job, guys. Okay, so 20 seconds of rest. Okay, next, into your squat, jacks to lunge, or again, okay, make sure as you come in, okay, you're going to go into your lunge. So squat, step in, into your lunge. Okay, so that's a regression. Otherwise, you can jump all the way in, into your squats, into your lunge. Okay, so let's go. Okay, we're going all the way down. Step in, okay, into your lunge. Okay, all the way down, step in, into your lunge. Or, you know, squat, jump in, lunge, all the way out, squat, jump in, into your lunge. There you go. Jump in, to your lunge, okay, or, all the way in, step, into your step back lunge. Okay, so those are your knees inj knee injuries. Okay, can't do leg workouts. Okay, make sure they do not go for that jump. Make sure to do a step back. This is a regression. Still a really good one that works your legs. Okay, either a jump or a step back. Okay, so rest up now. Going for a Cossack squat. So legs, we're working side to side. Okay, remember, okay, as low as you can, push all the way up. Okay, so 10 more seconds of rest. Going side to side. Okay, so get ready. In three, in two, and one. All right, let's go. So chest out, bring down low, and as low as you can. Push all the way into the middle, side to side. Okay, keep those toes all the way up. Let's go down low, push all the way up. Nice. And down low, okay, chest out, all the way into the middle. Okay, keep going as low as you can. Push all the way up. Nice, point those toes up. Toes all the way up, chest out, back straight. Okay, try to find that balance as well as you go from side to side. Okay, feel your quads really working, really pushing through. Okay, good. In three, last one, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so last two exercises, we'll call it a day. All right, so good job going for ski jumps. Remember, use those hands. We're jumping from side to side. So bend the knees as you land. Okay, land as softly as you can. So get ready. In three, in two, and one. Swing those arms. Just going side to side. Okay, simple enough. Then as soft as you can. Okay, from side okay, to side. Hold well on. Okay, all the way. Make sure you use those arms to propel yourself all the way up. Okay, use that momentum to swing. Okay, and jump. There you go. Good. As low as you can. Okay. As soft as you can. Make sure as you land. Okay, you got 
Couple more seconds left. Let's hit the last one. Okay, last. And well done. Okay, 20 seconds rest, our last exercise, glute bridge. Okay, into your tiptoe. So down on your bum. Okay, hands down by the side. You're gonna push all the way up. Okay, work your glutes, work those calves as well. Just draw back down, hips all the way down. Okay, so let's go. Last 40 seconds, let's push those hips up. On your toes, down on your heels. Drop back down those hips. Okay, make sure you control that movement all the way up. Okay, squeeze those calves. Drop your heels down. Okay, drop those hips. Okay, so all the way up. Make sure you squeeze, feel your glutes squeezing. On your toes, down on your heels. Okay, down nice and slow. Okay, push. Here you go, about last 10 seconds, down on your heels. All the way down. Okay, keep going all the way. Let's finish strong. Okay, down, down to your butt. All right, last rep. Let's push on your toes, on your heels, and all the way down. All right, guys. Okay, well done. Okay, good job. Okay, we'll go for a little cool down. Okay, and we are done for the day. So, okay, down, okay, on the ground. Okay, we're just going to have your legs together, okay, heels together. Okay, just push all the way and keep your chest out, your back straight. Okay, lean forward slightly. You've done quite a bit of leg workout today. Okay, so lean as far forward as you can. Keep that back straight at all times. Don't round it too much. Okay, you should feel, okay, okay, your legs stretching out. Okay, so all the way, okay, legs straight. Okay, you're gonna pull, feel your hamstring stretching. Okay, pull your leg, your toes in, feel those calves stretching as well. Okay, and switch sides. Okay, so the other side. Okay, make sure you pull all the way in. Okay, make sure you get a good stretch as well. Okay, lean forward slightly as you pull. Keep those legs straight. All right, okay, so shoulders. Okay, we're gonna crisscross, left over right, right over left. Okay, keep your back straight. Okay, pull all the way in. Okay, make sure you feel that stretch. Okay, on your shoulders. Okay, the other way. Okay, stretch it out. Okay, and last bit. Okay, we're going for our tricep stretch. Left to right. All right. Okay, and that's it guys. Okay, well done for today. Okay, hope you enjoyed the workout from Yao Xiang and I. Okay, that we are okay, the afternoon stretch. Okay, we'll see you again next week. Thank you guys.